Uh, you guys seen our show, TV Nation? I've watched it. It's a good show. You know the shows that are on opposite us? Have you seen any of them? <laughs> no, I haven't. Uh, Diagnosis Murder? <laughs> no. Unsolved Mysteries? You know, Family Matters on yes. ABC? Uh huh. They're all kicking our ass. But and you we don't have Urkel. We don't have Urkel. No, no. I, I kind of like him. No, oh, ew. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, we hired a KGB spy. Right. We put him on our payroll. Okay. Tonight, I'm going to send him on a mission to find out what's going on with our competition. You going to let him take out Urkel? Well, I'm going to let him do whatever he thinks is best. Watch this. Hello, Yuri. It's Michael. How are you? Great, Michael. Yourself? Well, actually, I'm a little down. I mean, uh, I think we're doing a great show here on TV Nation, but uh, frankly, we're getting our butt kicked by the competition. Yeah, I've seen the ratings. Yeah, I just don't get it. I mean, uh, all the reviews have been great. Uh, people love the show. Uh, Crackers has received over 30,000 phone calls. But everyone's beating us. Family matters. Even diagnosis murder. Worst of all is Unsolved Mysteries with Robert Stack. Here's your mission. I want you to check out our competition and find a way to beat them. Do whatever it takes. Absolutely. I'll get right on it. I took the next flight to Los Angeles, where the other shows are produced. My first step was to interrogate an expert about the strengths and weaknesses of TV Nation's competition. What is the key for success for Friday night show? Well, there are two kinds of shows that are working very well on Friday night. ABC's TGIF lineup, which is populated with precocious moppets, and mystery shows. And the only mystery about your show is why Fox picked it up. Her analysis was disturbing and yet not helpful. I still did not know which show I should undermine. I was turned away at the set of Family Matters, where security was even tighter than at the Kremlin. But I was able to go undercover on the set of Diagnosis Murder. Any special surprises for your dedicated viewers in in coming future? Yes. Uh, well, why don't we keep it a surprise? Should we keep it a, Let's keep it a surprise? Big surprise is coming up. <laughs> I was beginning to doubt whether there was anything even worth undermining at this show. Then something unexpected happened. TV Nation was nominated for an Emmy Award this week in the same category as Unsolved Mysteries. They must be denied. I began my investigation with the show's host, Robert Stack. He wasn't home. I continued to the Hollywood Hills where an episode of Unsolved Mysteries was being filmed. The mystery being filmed this day was whether the death of Josh Reeves, the actor who played Superman on television in the 1950s, committed suicide or was murdered. I couldn't believe they considered this an unsolved mystery. Everyone in the KGB already knew that Josh Reeves committed suicide. But I had more pressing concerns. A source with vital information was waiting for me. Makeup is an actor's best friend. It gets them into character, right, Lenore? Mm -hmm, absolutely. It gets them into character, and it gives them a competence, and it gives them that extra bit of energy. You can't go without it. It's indispensable, right, Lenore? Lenore? I had learned the secret of unsolved mystery success. The host, Robert Stack, always looks so good. People like to watch someone who looks good. So, I have arranged to have the same makeup secrets used on TV Nation. Then our show will become as popular as Unsolved Mysteries. We'll be back with more intriguing stories from TV Nation right after this. If Jesus came back and saw that Pat Robertson was his spokesperson, 
46% of Americans think that we'd all be in big trouble.